smoke weed every day. <laughs> there we go, something chill to watch. Hi, everybody. I honest to God tried my damnedest to get myself a Friday the 13th, even a dollar store shitty mask. I live in a small town. What can you say? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Woo, we got some, uh, we got some Hayes, we got some Howell, we got some Windsor, we got some Packers, and we got some Jordan. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. My, uh, Count thing over here ain't working for crap, but that's okay. So, today, the thumbnail did not lie. Serious, serious defoliation day today, guys. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. Some of these birds are getting bushy. Big old jungle bitches. And they need to get trimmed down a little bit. So that they can push all of their uh, 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 energies up towards the butts. That's what's going on. So, I'm not even going to wait five minutes to spark this joint up today. Because uh, it's been a long freaking day and I kind of need it. And I'm also going to tell you why. Because I have started automatically setting all of my videos for 18 plus from now on. Unless they're completely benign and about just gardening in general. It is going to be an 18 plus channel from now on. It's just the way I got to do it, man. I got to freaking try to try and fit into YouTube's stupid little box. So if you're under 18, take a fucking hike already, all right? You shouldn't have been allowed. You've lied your way in here if you're here and you're under 18. That's all I got to say. And that's not my fault. I've done my due diligence. So it's Friday night gardening. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? What's going on over there, honey? Want to come say hi? Yeah. I was also just wanting this. Ooh, those are nice. So this is that, uh, um... It's some bottoms. It's some swaggy mixed stuff. It's it's okay. It's not good, but it'll do. It's uh, it was free medicine from a family member, and hey, I'll take it, man. I'm I'm uh, in between crops, and hey, it's not bad at all. It's just not a, a a specific strain. I can be like, it's this bud. Skater dad, hello. Welcome. Yeah, it was free, so that's pretty good. And it's not bad at all. It's not like swag. It's not like, it's not uh, trim or nothing. It's just bottoms of pounds. It's a bit dry. I don't care. I am awake for this one. Well, hello, sir. I moved and been crashing for evening sessions. Crashing for evening sessions. Oh, there you go, honey bun. Have a dab of this. Or a dab, <laughs> a dab off the joint. That shows you how much I smoke weed nowadays, right? I'm all about the, all about the dabs, about the dabs, no joints. I should make a video about that. <laughs> That'd be terrible. That's not a good idea. It is a good idea, but I don't think I'm going to do it. Because it sounds like a lot of work. Fuck, man. I know you can't see it. It doesn't matter because it's minor. Well, maybe you can see it. There's a little bit of a colored spot. I fucking burnt my hand on the goddamn torch today. And I'm not loving it. She's got a fucking wicked burn. 
from the torch. Oh my god, the torches there it are... There is, I was just like, where is Torches it? are evil. Too much indica on the couch. <coughs> <laughs> dinner, dinner hour. Nice. I'm trying to sort of hit a, a more normal hour. See, I don't really have much of a life. I'm not going to go out on a Friday night. So, I think from now on, it's going to be Friday night gardening. I want to help too, though. Yeah. So I put my hair up. Here. Oh, the reason I put my hair up. So, I got a bowl. And I got some scissors. Please, 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 please. We're going to do some... I'm not going near your hair. I'm going near these ladies. Ah, oh, oh, I almost forgot. I got a little bit of an update. Um, for those of you who caught one of my early uh, choppy streams from the garage um, this week, I was bitching about um, uh, uh, a shipment that came and some weird fees that shouldn't have been there. Well, it's been taken care of. I don't know when I'm getting the stuff. Probably not till next week because, again, small town. But probably early next week, I'll have some awesome, awesome news about the sponsor. Because the sponsors are good, and they took care of the fucking problem. Have you heard right. of the terpometer? Have I heard of a terpometer? What? It's measuring your bowl temperature. <laughs> you wanted a laser. It's true, I do. But you... The terp... Me? Can I? Ooh, shit. Um, Can I show that? It's a, it's a, it's a thing you stick into a bowl. There you go. You can see that. Yeah, now. it's the thing you stick into a bowl, and it tells you the temperature of your bowl, so you can find that perfect temp. That's actually kind of cool. At first, I'm like stupid, gimmicky, me. But you know what? Nah, depends on what it costs. That might be all right. Good evening. Here you go, take your, take your thing back. I'm gonna have a sip of your uh, Slurpee if you, if you don't mind. As I just take it anyway. Mm -hmm. People do that there a lot. They're like, they like grab. Oh, can I have a drink? Yeah, can I have a drink? <sighs> Thanks. I'm like, uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's a good thing we swap a little bit of spit, so it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay, folks. Um, I now that we're are we done that joint. Almost. A couple more puffs. And then I'm going to switch over to the tent camera and we're going to get in there and we're going to start doing some schnippy, schnippy, schnippy. There's a, there's a, a bunch of new names in here tonight. Uh, I got to say, hello and welcome, new names. Um, for real. Uh, if you guys haven't already, I wouldn't mind a quick, uh, uh, a quick like right there. Hey. This is my beaming like, oh, I'm baked. Anyway, I wouldn't mind a quick like of the video if you do like it. If you don't like it, hey, you can give me a thumbs down. I'll take it if it sucks. I need to know. I need to know how to grow my channel better. If this sucks, tell me it sucks. If it's awesome, tell me it's awesome. And subscribe. Come on. Hit that bell because I do live. Kitchener. I'm going to start on a schedule. I got a schedule coming real soon, folks. Real soon. Where's Kitchener? Kitchener is in Ontario. What? I believe so. There might be multiple Kitcheners. I'm having a hard time believing there's a place called Kitchener. It's not Kitchen. It's Kitchener. I know, but it's uh, like <laughs> Kitchen. Kitchener. Yeah, it's like a person that's all about kitchens. They're a Kitchener. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to go over to the to the other uh, camera here, folks. Put this in my phone. Yeah, yeah, you go ahead. You have the rest of that. Okay. Yeah, that's really good on the zipper. Anyway, folks, here we go, here we go. Let me get some some light adjustment. There we be. She's looking pretty good. Let me take the sunglasses off so I can actually see what's going on here. Okay. Ontario here as well. Right on. Well, that's because there's a million people in Ontario. That's why there's lots of Ontario people. 
So let's give a quick tour here. This is, um, oh, never mind here. I got all bent out of shape. This over here is the Dark Cream Auto. And check this out. Let me see if I can get in here and show you some of this. She's start, starting to darken up. I don't know how well the lighting is in here, but she's definitely getting some purpleness. Some of the pods down there got some purples, and some of the leaves are starting to darken up. Caspa, welcome, Caspa. And as you can see, this is this is um, uh, 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 the early miss. I did top it, so those are the both colas right there. I split it. And it's a little low flying bush, but as you can see, there's she's just so stacked in here. I need to come in and defoliate. That's what we're doing here today. And same with this. This this one's weird. This one here and this one here are the same plant, like not the same plant, but the same seed. And look at how far along budding this one is, right? She's looking nice. And then this one over here, I planted them at the same time. And look how tall and spindly and sativa-like this plant is compared to how dense and fat and chunky and happy this lady is. Weird that they're, I would not say that that's the same strain, but they came from the same seed factory unless they made a mistake, which does happen. It does happen once in a while. Bernsey, hello! Back yes. to growing, so hello! Angelus, by the way. It's back to growing. Welcome, welcome. Those are autos. Yes, yes, they are. I've got another tent going right here. Let me, uh. Open this puppy up. Here, let me just put this down. Again, all four of these plants in here, yes, there's four of them, are the same strain. This is what I'm talking about. And they're auto flowers. It's really bizarre. This one here, doing good. Doing good. Here, let me, I gotta tilt this camera just a little bit. There we go. I feel like that's a better angle. So this one's doing good. It's starting flower, as you can see. You okay, love? Just bonging it up. <laughs> I just actually, it was like, good, 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 overboard. Now this is another one back here. She's also looking really good. But as you can see, they're overrun with leaves. I need to cut a lot of this lower jungle off. So we can get air moving better in here and really push those hormones up to these top flower nodules. There's see, look someone at after your beard. Look at this. Look at this big S curve on this big stock. It's going way up there. It's actually 83. This is part of the problem. You guys see that? That's pretty warm. So the reason, another reason that we're going to do a defoliation is to just yes, air was, this out a bit and I let air move around better. Where's the camera? And how do I show this beast of my bong? The bong? I accidentally took like the whole chamber just went Oh god. Yeah, it's a triple chamber. But do 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 like that. Oh my god. Okay. Let's uh let's start this process, shall we? Um let's start on Oh wow. Watered girls before I left home for a three-hour concert. Mayday, love your channel, Kennedy. Hey, hey, right on. Thank you, sir. Or madam, or is, whatever. Thank you. I just gotta stop saying sir. I just gotta say thank you. Yes. It's the bear that grows. Ah, right on. <laughs> That's a name I know. That's funny, because I'm the beard that grows. <laughs> uh, yeah, right. Anyway. Um... 
Here, I think I'm gonna, I hadn't really thought this through very good, but I think I'm gonna bring out one girl at a time, like this. Oh God, that's heavy. Right there. Let me take a, let me check the can handles here. That's actually not freaking bad at all. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. I think I'm gonna put it over here. You got an old friend from Cherokee County, Oklahoma. Badass plants, thanks, grow me hard. To oh, it's Old Fart. Hey, Old Fart, how you doing? Old Fart's comment. They've uh, been a fan for a while. I've seen that name around. Okay. I'm going to try to stay out of the camera here as much as possible. So how's that looking? You guys are just getting my knee and stuff, eh? Yeah, that's okay. So. Pretty much the first thing I do is look for anything big that's covering other bud sites. Well, hey. we also need to do a big strip from the bottom. Can yes, 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 yes. How many weeks are there? Um, shit, what's the date today? 13th. 13th? There six weeks? Three, three and a half, <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, five and a half weeks? Yeah, I started them on August... First? No. <laughs> September 1st. No. August 1st. <laughs> August 1st. Uh, anyway, got a nice clean pair of scissors that I alcoholed earlier. And we're just going to go through here and take a lot of the big sun leaves out. Especially things that are shading other areas. And then I'm going to do it, like I said, a big strip of the bottom. I'm, uh, I don't want to take all the sun leaves. You don't want to totally strip these things naked. Just anything that's blocking anything. Like, I don't know how well you can see inside here. I can't see the, um, I can't see my monitor for crap from this angle just because it goes all weird colors. It's not like, exactly polarized like or something, a close-up, but, but it is like showing from the bottom of the pot to just above the top. See, like this leaf right here, there's no point in, in cutting this leaf. It isn't shading anything, right? Same with this. But this inside one here, let's get rid of this girl. Strip them naked. Yeah, kind of. Mm. We're going to strip a lot off the bottom. The bottoms are going to get a real culling. Check this out. The bottom is even going to get stuff like this. Little stuff like that. It's got to go. Where is it? There's a better street. <laughs> yeah. There's someone. It's Saturday the 14th. Well... It's the 13th. It's Friday the 13th here, where I'm at. <laughs> Ooh, that's a big leaf. That was all wo woven in there. That's a nicey. Yeah, I can kind of see the monitor, but I can't tell how... I can see where things are, but I can't really tell how focused they are or anything. Oh, some of these big leaves are beautiful, but... Uh, yeah, same person that asked has a plant of the same age, currently outdoors, not the same growth as yours. Uh, no, these will be uh, uh, auto flower outdoor. You're saying? Um, Ask I the, guess so. Yeah, if they're auto flowers, hey, outdoor. Um, Mr. Madaza, who says it's a 14, is in London. In London, nice. What's it like in London? What is it like in London? I really don't know. I know it's usually rainy, but that's a guess. <laughs> that's a guess. <laughs> Dehold. What's up, beard and white feet? Oh, hey, someone from Los Angeles. It's still Friday. Yeah. Oh, right. This is beautiful, guys. I'm going to snip one of these off and show you this. Yorkshire. This, I'm going to leave one of them, and I'm only going to cut one off. Look at this beautiful mutation. Can you guys see the mutation in this? Look at this. Look at the spine. We're gonna keep this leaf because it's weird. There's two. This one section of the plant did this weird mutation, that kind of, almost a duck foot. Very, very similar to a duck foot mutation. Not a big deal. It's pretty minor, but it happened on both leaves. Ah, here I'll just cut Beer. the other leaf off. It doesn't matter. Beer. They'll go good for the. Yes. One who asked is unsure because it's a clone that was purchased. And where is Yorkshire? Oh, if it's a clone, it will not be. Um, it will not be an auto flower because you cannot auto. You cannot clone auto flowers. Um, 
and uh, you're only if you're only starting an outdoor now, you uh, may not have enough time, mate. These things should be in full bud right now if they're outdoor. Mm, it doesn't depend on the all the other situation and the weather. And the yeah, it does depend where you're living. That's true. Actually, here this brings me to a point. I'm gonna. I'm going to get up here real quick, and I'm going to show you girl, uh, uh, my outdoor girls. Um, since I can only have, I can't put cameras quite everywhere in my house yet. I'm working on it. By the way, there's a Patreon link below if you want to help uh, uh, support the channel and so I can add more cameras around the house. Anyway, here's a clip I took earlier today of the outdoor ladies. This is the shed out back that I got going on. They are, they've been outdoor the whole time. I just have them with some lights at the moment. They are in bud, as you can see. But I just wasn't getting enough, uh, wasn't getting enough light outside in, in my backyard. So someone missed the last one, so they weren't missing today's and smoking on church OG. Nice. I haven't heard Church OG's decent. That's a good squisher, if I remember. I know OG. I don't know in church, though. So. I'll also be doing a live stream from Twitch and uh, uh, YouTube of Sunday, the Sunday session. There we go. Of the Sunday session, uh, 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 Cannabis Appreciation Day if you will. I'm going to stop calling it cannabis worship because uh, the outdoor, I think the goddies are freaking out. <laughs> if it's week four, Mr. Madada. Well, these are... Um, the outdoor one. Uh, the outdoor is about week four of flower. Maybe week, maybe week five. Probably more like week four, to be honest. Um, and I'm probably going to finish them off in the new grow tent that I'm going to be setting up next week. Um, another thing I'm doing here, folks, is I'm stripping the lower third. Like, pretty much everything about this high above the, the pot and lower is getting stripped for sure. Nothing, nothing higher than that. I want a lot of this out. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a shock today, but... Um, it is what it is. Um, this girl actually needs a bit of a shock, I think. She's a little behind, and she needs a push. She needs her hormones to be pushed into into puberty here. She's uh, being too slow. And sometimes this can actually help, a little lower defoliation. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's cool. We'll be able to read, but... No, I cannot read that, but I can, I can see that down there. That's I good. can read, but you can see yeah. how you're sort of... It's a shame. Um, there's little guys like this. Um, I'm, I'm honestly just gonna clip this. It's a, a, a little bit of a shame, but uh, you know, it's just it's too oh. low. It's just not gonna produce anything. Jeff H lives in a no-grow province. A no-grow province. Yeah. We have those still. And he makes a gur face. I make a gur face. Oh, I'm sorry to hear, man. Well, times are changing, man. People will will change their minds eventually. Uh, Madaza asks if you have tried coconut water. Coconut water? Yeah, and my curry every time. Well, not every time, but most of my curries. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it's I know you mean for the weed. No, never heard of it even. That's complete news to me. And there we go. That's about good. I've really stripped this lady back pretty good. She's got lots of good airflow. There's a couple of little guys here I think I'm still gonna get. I wanna grab these little bundles from down below here. I don't want these to start growing. and I don't want them to put any, any energy into these little nubules in the bottom, so I always just pinch them off. go and there we go and I think uh, yep oh, one more right here is still in the in the zone and then there we go everything below that certain line has been cropped off as well and uh, she's ready to go back in she looks real good I guess and that's how much I took off of the one right there 
coconut water is full of potassium. Potassium. Lemon, okay. So it's full of that. Yeah. If you're doing like some organic grows and stuff, that would make some sense for sure. And Bernie says molasses. I think I think your yeah. head was talking about that one. Yeah. Yeah. Molasses is a good one. Oh, come on now. Oh, this is a heavy bird. Oh, oh you're a heavy girl. She's a big old thick lady. Well, I'll go under those leaves. Okay. Now this one here, holy smokes! Here, I'm gonna I'm gonna lower this tripod. Give me a second. Oh, right in the frickin' noggin. <laughs> oh, scared it. Go ahead and bite, and in a little like thing, it says beard will not support this or patient. It'll come. And Bernsey just goes federal lock and swizzle my stick. <laughs> Bummer, man. Sorry to hear. Hopefully. Hopefully they'll, they'll change tunes eventually, you know? It, it, it should happen eventually. Would you suggest putting the seeds straight in the soil? Yes. Uh, actually, I would recommend germinating them, <laughs> soaking them at least in a, in, a, in a glass of water for 24 hours prior. Or before, not prior. Okay, this thing is big. As you can see, it is a bush. It's almost hard to decide where to start. Oh, I love this lady. I'm literally just going to carve her up like a freaking turkey today. I have to. But we've had this one and she's just like going to come back with, hey, I got more. Yeah, I've grown this strain before and I know that this uh, ain't going to phase it one little bit. As long as I leave a lot of mid leaves, she will bounce back so fast it won't even look like I did anything in a couple, in like a week. I'm uh, very aware of this strain and it's very vivacious. That's a fun word. How much will yield an average single plant harvest on a total green corn? Uh, there's corn. no way to say that. If that's the strain dependent, that's growth dependent. Strain, growth, environment, yeah. nutrients, yep. and care. Yeah, there's and way health. too many, way too many variables. I mean, you can get anywhere from you should be able to happily get anywhere from a, a couple, a, a, an ounce to six ounces off of a good plant. Somewhere in that ballpark sounds pretty normally good for me. Mm. See, some of these some of these uh, uh, leaves in here are like jammed. They're just overcrowded, right? That's why I had to do this lady specifically and give her a real thick haircut, man. You got a compliment on your lovely plant. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, they're looking pretty happy. And Jeff has the application for 19 plants prescribed up to five grams. Nice. Which province was that? That's a that's a strange number. He's but waiting on a growth license for medical. Um, hey man, if you can get if you can get any more than four, be happy. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. Uh, Manitoba. Manitoba. Ah, yeah, Manitoba is apparently the hardest province in Canada to get this dealt with. Manitoba doesn't like weed for some reason. I wonder why. Oh my God, there's just so much. This poor lady, I feel like I'm just stripping her naked, but it ain't gonna do a, it ain't gonna hurt her, trust me. I can answer that we do use CO2. Yes, I uh, actually been using TNB Naturals CO2. This stuff right here. They were uh, kind and hooked me up with a couple of bottles, and uh, they're made in British Columbia, the same province that I live in. So they're local, and I gotta support them, man. So uh, they're like, whether they know it or not, they've kind of become a sponsor, an unwritten sponsor of my channel, because I like what they do. And uh, yeah, they've uh, a lot of growers have had good success with their product. I know their product is good. It's local. Yada 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 yada. I'm not officially a sponsor. I'm just straight up giving them some good freaking good back talk because I like them. I've used those other. Uh, we'll see how they perform. I don't actually know how they perform. I just know that they got a good a good track record. I've only ever used those mushroom bags in the past, but I'll tell you, I can smell the freaking CO2 coming off these things when you give them a shake versus that mushroom thing. I was always wondering if it worked or not. 
Peter Dad got a better light because his last was horrible. The Sunrise 1000 LED and a for 3 by 3 Oh yeah? And he is going to be popping the genetics from Seedman of Critical Purple Clip. Nice. Critical Purple, that'll be fun. I tried Critical once, but I know pushes usually. I yeah, really like Critical's a good them. strain. Man, this is a uh, this is gonna be a long stream tonight, man. I really wish I had my uh. I want another newbie. You want another newbie? Yeah. Well, do you want to roll one? They're right behind me. No. Okay, well, pass pass me the tray over here, and I'll uh, <laughs> I'll roll one up here in a second. Man, this poor lady is just getting such a haircut. That skater dad noticing you like you like um Crop King and Bebo. Not just, it's just that he has to be that one. Um yeah, Crop King has been good to me. I have a crush um, on the They've given me a, 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 a bunch of a bunch of free seeds when I first started. And again, they're a local British Columbia company. And uh, I won one of their contests once and they were really super nice to me. So I, I like them as a company, man. I support them because they're good to me. They, well, they were good to me, but they, <laughs> they have done good to me. And uh, I, I like wh what I've done from what I've got from them so far as far as the, the strains that I've grown. And Vivo Sun is just uh, one of the better cheap tents on the market. I'm not saying they're the best, but uh, it's what I got. Yes, babe? Which strain would you choose to smoke for the rest of your day? Oh, my God. True Congolese. God, you'd never get to sleep. I know. <laughs> it's freaking a pretty heavy sativa. Oh, this, uh, I met this grower a long time ago, man, and, or a couple years ago. I guess it wasn't that long ago. But he was growing uh, a pure Congolese as his medicine. He got a hold of some of them. He had a buddy that had a buddy, then he got some, whatever. And, uh, oh, my God, was it ever good. It was just like I tried a bad drug, and I was just hooked instantly. I wanted more. Yes, do you think it's a good idea to add CFL bulb for flowering? I'm in a, I'm growing in a little box with a small mizey like. CFL? Eh, I'm not a CFL fan. Eh. CFLs are good for seedlings. Some people have got good results with them, though. I've seen growers. I follow growers on Instagram that uh, that grow some pretty crazy shit, man. So who knows? Who knows? Man, this poor plant is just getting stripped. So much, so much, but as you can see, some Good. air can get in here now. And I gotta get in and, and pull a little bit of these little babies off the bottom of the stock, and then we're good in this plant. Yes, baby. I like how we're apparently getting a nice community where do good by me and I do good by you type deal. And um, yeah, can can grow just popped in. Hey, asking, buddy, what's up? Hey, hey how you doing, man? Here. Welcome, welcome. So there's a guy you should check out. If you guys are into hydro stuff, man, he's got some pretty cool, like, flood drain systems going on. It kind of, I don't really fully understand, but I like watching it. <laughs> it's good stuff. Makes me want to try that kind of technique, though. Looks neat. Man, there's so much little, tiny foliage in here, guys. I'm just going to, like, i got to pull some of this out. There's just too much in here. I'm going to pull, like, every other one, all the ones off the backsides and stuff in here. Funny enough, I just smoke a strain for the rest of my days. It's either black tuna or love potion. I was gonna say for her, it's probably love potion. She loves that stuff. I love she loves that. love potion. I do. I actually gotta get it's some so love heavy. potion and grow some for her. Oh, I got green crack for now. That's nice. Yeah, green crack's a good one. I like it. Anyway. I, I Pick don't, the name. Love the strain. I don't <laughs> really have much qualms with the name. They're there heavy, we go. But, eh. That's, that was some heavy, heavy duty defoliation here, guys. I'm gonna bring in the camera in real close. I'm gonna move this over, go like this, bring that in. I wanna show you that, oh, there we go. I wanna show you that big Y from, that I got from um, uh, topping it. And this is an auto flower, and look at that. She's, I mean, it's a bush, it's a weird little bush, 
But uh, you better believe these are all going to turn into big, thick, super towers of bud. I know this strain. She'll be fine. Okay. Oh, God, you're looking at the ceiling. I'm sorry, everybody. Also, whisper, ask if you have make RSO from your clippings. Um, I don't know from these. No. Honestly, I usually feed my rabbit a lot of this. Like, not <laughs> not all of this. This is way too much. This is, he, if we had a whole bunch, that would be great. Yeah, I do feed him some, though. Here, let me show you. even got a little clip here. If you guys want to see, I'm going to feed some of this to Stu, our rabbit, and I'll take a video. Um, you're going to have to check it out on Instagram. That's where I'm going to post it. But for right now, I'll show you a quick little clip of the last time. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm yelling closer to the thing. Uh, I'm a newbie and continually hear about White Widow. Is it that good? <laughs> yep. I love White Widow. White Widow is one of my favorite strains as far as like recommendations for new growers, as well as it's the very first strain I grew indoor under my license. So I kind of got a bit of a sweet oh. spot for it. Someone just like showed a little picture of a bunny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, bring that camera back down like that. Right around there. Okay, now move this over here. Okay, let me, uh, let me pull this big old lady oh out gosh. first. I'm excited for this one. Our White Widow Live resin was amazing. I don't know why that was so late, but it really, really, really was. Oh, okay. That one kicked everyone's ass. Woo. Remember? Yes. Yeah, that White Widow live resin I made was so good that I kind of um, forgot to, like, doc <laughs> I got so high off it, I forgot to document it properly. We did. That's like a real true story, guys. <laughs> so, for real, this, th this lady is starting to show some signs of some serious purpling. <laughs> is rabbit poo good for fertilizer? Yes. It's what they consider, or what is called a non-hot fertilizer, meaning you don't need to, you don't need to like cook it and sterilize it. It doesn't have worms and shit in it. It's like well, good to go right out of the box. It. That's like something's got to check every now and then. Huh? Something to check every now and then. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, that's pretty sure I've, what I've been reading about it. I've seen that if your rabbit does, that's something to check on. If your rabbit, rabbit does what? Oh, worms. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For but sure. Our rabbit is pretty clean. Yep. We only feed them like organic shit out of our garden mostly and like <laughs> an alpha, alpha pellets. Anyway, here's what we got so far. I'm going to dump this and keep moving. Um, oh, someone uses bearded dragon poo for my girls. Sure, yeah, it's probably got lots of uh, uh, nitrogen and stuff in it, I bet. And I guess we're, we kind of convinced someone to get a rabbit. Nice. Yeah, they're a fun pet too. They're really, they're really cute little buggers, man. <laughs> oh, this leaf, I didn't really want to take this Don't leaf. Don't ever leave your rabbit alone with your pet. <laughs> no. I didn't want to cut this leaf because it was just gorgeous. And I think, I think uh, you should put this in a book, hon. Huh? You should keep this one. Yeah. Just a real good leaf. There's a couple. There's two. There's another. Well, there's more than two, but here's another really good. Just. Just beautiful, beautiful, hardy, hardy leaf. They got a little bit of weird, it almost looks like heat damage, but uh, but I know that my, my heat never got to anywhere near heat damage. It's just uh, it's got some weird age marks or something, a little bit of a slight wrinkle to it, but very happy. If anybody knows what causes this, it only happened on a couple of leaves, but uh, usually the really, really, just not usually, but the two really, really big ones. What this one do? I know, it's a nice leaf. Yeah, this one doesn't need much. I don't want to take much off this lady. I want to take some of the lower stuff. Um, just because it's big and in the way. <laughs> Look at these big leaves, man. It's weird trippy leaves on this big plant. I like this plant. This plant's nice. We still got someone talking about how white widows are good to keep pheno's from prize pheno's. Yeah, oh for sure. That's a good one to play. You could, I, I, that'd be a good hunting one. Ooh, wee, here's another one on this side, huh? Oh yeah, you can see the 
you guys can see the purple starting. And it's not just the stock, this is a very purple strain. This is supposed to go purple as it buds. And it's starting in some of the some of the areas for sure. So to start up, I need a space, pots, medium, lights, and a bunny. Jeff H. <laughs> no, you don't need no bunny, but you know, that's up to you. It's a nice free fertilizer. It's free fertilizer if you're going organic. Um, and uh, they're just, I don't know, they're fun. Now, I'm not, this plant is doing so well, I'm not going to take all of the lower stuff off. Oh my god. It's all so small that I'm not going to take those little tiny bundles out. But I am going to clear a couple of big leaves out of its way so that they can grow well. But I'm not going to clip off the, all the little guys at the bottom here. I'm going to keep them, see what happens. Because uh, this strain looks like it's going to be yummy and I don't want to waste any of it. Yes, babe. Bernie Gross has a story. Mom told a story back in the day. Dad's friend gave him a clone. Long story short, Dad on the floor chasing rabbit clone in his mouth. <laughs> Neat. That was quite a, quite the weed. <laughs> also, uh, I do remember you saying White Widow from Crop King is like a at least experienced genetic from them. Yeah, it's an old strain. It means it's one of their first strains. When Crop King's been, a, like, they've been around for a while, but it's one of their old strains. They've had it for quite a while. So you know that it's a good, solid genetic. You know what I mean? You know it's like, it's not something brand new that they're beta testing on. You know that's a, a long-term plant they've had for a while. They've maybe even, you know, fine-tuned it a little bit. Uh, Brandy grows, his godfather grows heirloom, AK, and White Widow. Nice. Yeah. AK is a good one. That's a classic. Uh, one of those good, a good strain from Crop one of my dealers sent me into a panic attack. <laughs> I've had panic attacks, but it was from, um, Okay, I'm going to take this little guy because it's got a bit of water damage. There's a couple of little tiny super low ones that are super small I'm going to take. Um, I got a panic attack from that Megalodon. I think that's what it's called. It's a super sativa shark stuff. That stuff gave me a freaking... I thought I was having a heart attack. <laughs> it was kind of funny when I think back about it. But, you know, it's not very funny when it's happening to you. <laughs> but it was a strong sativa, man. It really, really set my heart on a... On a thumpity, thumpity, thumpity. Also, what I'm doing here, guys, taking a lot of this lower stuff, it makes the plant panic a little bit, and it pushes the nutrients upwards and pushes all of the energy up into these top flowers, right? So that's kind of what we're doing is we're kind of trying to half panic the system and, like, really, like, I'm trying to make sure that everything's getting a lot of light that needs it. And uh, really trying to defoliate so that air can get through. We don't want any freaking mold buildups or heat buildups. And uh, if you get a lot of um, a lot of leaves, you start getting like heat and moisture buildups. And we don't want that at all. I don't want to start dealing with dehumidifiers here. Not one little bit. Okay, I think uh, I'm getting close. I don't want to take all of her big leaves off, but I do want to take a lot of them. I am going to take this one here. I've been fighting this one. It's clipping up this thing weird. And I think this over here is going to be Aren't these too. plants like five weeks old? Five weeks. They're about five or six weeks old, yeah? Okay. But they're autoflowers. They're only supposed to, they only live three months. That's the joy of auto flowers, is they got a quick, quick, quick turnaround. Man, this thing's praying though. Look at the praying on this. Look at those. They're so happy. Okay, let me put this back, and then it's joint time. Now I'll show you the other garden here while I put this one back. Where's OZ? OZ? What do you mean, where's OZ? Uh, Australia, maybe? Pause. Pause. Let's see who's all in chat here. Pause. I can't. You've been keeping good on chat. Thanks, honey. Well, probably Oz, but we're going to run out of stuff going well. Hey, right on. 
uh, VYSX. Um, I, I learned a lot just through trial and error, to be honest. I learned also a lot from other YouTubers. Um, you know, uh, uh, Mr. Canucks Grow, um, uh, 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 Frick, Seed to Stone, uh, Grow Pot Cheaply, uh, uh, um, frick, even Can Can Grow, uh, 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 the frickin' the, 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 the Cannabis Grow Guide. There's a whole bunch of good frickin' good dudes out there, man, making some frickin' making some stuff. I think I'm, uh, okay, here's what I've done. I think, however, this is what I was doing earlier. I think I am going to switch these two. Um, that's the way they used to be, but I was trying to, like, bust up the canopy weird, and I, didn't, I just didn't like it. Uh, 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 high centering it here on the bar, but it's okay. These ones are so dramatic, we should have had a before and after. Yeah, I know, they're, uh, well, you know, you can watch the beginning of the episode, <laughs> I guess. But yeah, I should have taken some before and after Instagram. photos. They would have been good for Instagram or something. Mm -hmm. It was a shame. I, I, I probably really should have. Well, if you ever do the other one. Then... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to do the other one right now. The other tent's coming right up. We're doing a big defoliation party here tonight, guys. There we go. I think that's probably how I'm going to put it. Because this is under the... Uh, uh, under the fan there, and uh, now I can put this block back in here with uh, this guy back up on it again, and uh, the sweet basil back in there, oh, kind of like that. Also. I want to give a shout out. I know he's probably sleeping because he's uh, way super east coast. Unless he, unless you've seen Mister Phyllis Fogg in here tonight, um, no. I think he might have been in here earlier. But uh, my mate, my mate Phyllis Fogg, was telling me that he grows on a cement floor as well, and he was having problems with his tents. His tents were getting way too cold, and uh, he put them up on some uh, 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 pallets, wooden pallets. Now, I just didn't have access to some wooden pallets, but I did have a bunch of these floor mats, those foam floor mats, and uh, I've done that. Someone's got them in books, and also, um, yeah, I've that been... newbie asked if that CO2 goes for the whole grow. Um, no. I believe it's only supposed to go about three weeks. Um, I only started uh, this CO2 once flowering started, myself. You can run, you can run CO two kind of the whole time if you want. Man, this is that is drastic looking in there. Hey guys, look at that. Yeah. Like but look at the look at the massive airflow difference that's going to come in here. Now I know you can't see up there very good, but on my meter, it was running um, hot like mid sixties for humidity in here, like between fifties, high fifties, and sixties in humidity. And that's getting not high, but that's like, you got to be careful. You don't want mold. You don't want powdery mildew. You don't want none of that. So what I just did is going to allow air to move and allow this thing to start budding out. Now we got this freaking jungle to do over here. <laughs> that's okay. Also, to really help, I know this is kind of a mess over here, guys. Please don't judge me on my power. My power mess over here. It's not bad, as bad as it looks, I swear. What I did is I hooked this whole power bar up to the timer so that the fans, this and that one, shut off with the lights at the same time. And the reason I'm doing that is because I was getting um, a little bit cold in here at night. When it, when it, when it goes down for, uh, uh, even at nighttime, the temperature was starting to, to lower here in the house especially in the basement. Um, so I had to do something. Okay, let me get this. Look at this. Look how happy this is, though, man. This is a sweet basil. We should, like, we got to harvest some of this pretty soon. We got to cut it back. But look at The basil just loves this environment. It's crazy. I'll just sit below the cannabis. I'm going to start with this nice little girl right in front here. What's her name? 
Um, you want to pass me that um, rolling, rolling one there, love? Thank you. See what I got? Oh, here. I use those little stands in there to help to help keep the airflow going so that we're not getting any moisture. What's that? Rosin, yeah. Someone just has, is having some fresh oh. pressed wedding cake. Oh, beautiful wedding cake. That would be really nice. Okay, let me take a look here. And also, they say keep on keeping on live shows are a blast. It's that time. Right and on. Also, I'm glad you guys like the live the live stroke the live is shows. Gertha. Gertha. <laughs> oh, actually, who asked about Gertha? Somebody asked about Gertha right now. Burnsy. Burnsy. Funny that you ask. I actually got a video. Since I, again, once again, hold on a second. Let me do my proper pitch here. Hold on. Let me switch cameras. There we go. There we go. Okay. Once again, since I can't run cameras to every part of my house yet, I'm working on it. I need your guys' support because YouTube is still keeping me down, man. They're not giving me no money. I got bills to pay. I got... You know, stuff. The, the, you, know much, you know how much power consumption this stuff does? Anyway, I got a Patreon. If you guys love my channel, really, 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 really want to support with just a little bit of financial support towards what I'm doing, I use that money to buy cameras and stuff, man. So, link below, Patreon. That's a great way to directly support the channel and cut out the middleman. Also, there's links down there for Amazon junk. I got to yeah. pitch it for a quick second because um, then I'll get more cameras. And then it'll just keep growing and getting cooler. Um, fog. Fog. Mr. Fog! There he is! Weird. You're like Santa Claus or a demon or something. I just said your name a couple of times and he shows up. Okay. Let me have a quick... Let me have a and quick roll here. About your Infinity Extraction fan? I gotta go to the bathroom. My Infinity Extraction fan... Mm. Hold on here. Oh, you must mean the AC Infinity fan that I got going in the back here. Hold on. Let me take a look back through chat here for a second. Um, yes. Yes. Um, okay, I've got the AC Infinity fan in this tent right here, and I wish I had another one for this tent over here. This tent is freaking got an old grow an ear fan and it's about hit the bucket. And when I, if I can afford to, when I buy another fan, I'd like to buy another AC Infinity. I probably won't buy that crazy computer controlled one, but it's a, it's one of the best fans I've used. It's also really expensive. So I don't recommend it for everybody, but if you want that level of control and you want to buy the best of the best, it's kind of the best of the best. I'm rolling a joint here, guys. I think I came up here for something else, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I remember. You asked about my indoor plants. Aunt Gertha. What is wrong with this? Oh, the freaking stupid eyepiece fell off, and it's just digging into my face now. That's all freaking fun. Um, anyway, you asked about Aunt Gertha. I got a video of Aunt Gertha. So check this out. Here she is. She's looking pretty good. I had to defoliate her because I found a couple of bugs on her. I gotta be honest, I found a couple of like, what looked like spider mites on a couple of leaves. And I panicked and just took every freaking fan leaf that had even a freaking a single dot or anything on it. Now, is what I'm probably gonna do, just Yay! due to the fact I'm probably gonna end up blasting this whole plant. Turning it into live resin just because I'm a little spooked that there might be something in there. And I don't know if blasting's really going to do much, but <laughs> uh, it's got to be better than letting them dry out. And That one has been in. I shocked it accidentally. Oh, wait a minute. Let me, let me turn it off there. There we go. I shocked it accidentally. It's seriously only about a month into freaking... Uh, 
um, into frickin' flour right now. I mean, it looks really good. I've done it as best job as I can. I frickin' check that thing over the fine-tooth comb every frickin' day looking for anything I can find. Ah, and it's been looking pretty know. good. Hey, happy dude! And Can Can Grow is still here. Right on, man. Check the big fan leaves on the top, bud, because it looks like there may be some PM. Uh, yes, there was a little bit of PM going on on the plant when I first got it. That's why that one is in solitary, because I don't trust it. <laughs> and I have been clipping anything that looks like anything, man. Just clip it. As soon as I see anything that looks weird, clip it. I don't care what it is. Um... I promised her I'd smoke a joint in between the two tents here. I forgot. Looks like Happy Dude got just in time to see the Aunt Gertha, and um, apparently yours is the same size as someone's second biggest plant. Nice. That's just that's a clone, oh, by the way. Oh, The one who named Gertha. P PM, sorry, is powdery mildew. It's a real bastard <laughs> when it comes to, like, outdoor plants, man. Outdoor plants get it really bad, and if you get it indoor, fuck, it's a bastard to get rid of it. That's why that plant's in there. And as soon as that grow is done, I'm going to frickin' bleach the living shit out of that whole tent. Oh, second biggest auto. That's what it is. Frenchy. Nice. Frenchy. Yeah, if that was an auto that size, look at that'd be doing pretty good. I mean, some autos get pretty big, man. Sometimes they can get huge. I miss our first white widow trio. Yeah, our first white widow. We had a white widow, and uh, uh, it turned out to be an early miss. Oh. I thought they were two white widows, but uh, man, they were good. <coughs> oh. My turn. Yeah. Oh man, that first. Oh, it was a dry dab or a dry dab, dry hit. Mmm. Oh. Meh, I'm not rolling it up. Not the tent, anyway. Oh. Sorry, huh? You just got freaking Japanese claw boppers on, just trying to freaking stomp my toes out. You step on my toes all the time. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I'm clumsy. <laughs> You said she's on a timeout. <laughs> is PM contagious? Um, yes. Powdery mildew is contagious. If you get it on, it has to do with, like, moisture and, like, air frickin' flow and all this kind of shit. So you need, like, good air flow. You need uh, correct uh, humidity levels, which is pretty low during flower. Um, and, uh, man, there's other shit. If you want to watch how to battle some... Some powdery mildew. Check out Can Canna Grows uh, channel. He's had a little bit of a battle with it. He knows a lot more about it than I do. I've really had very little experience with it. Um, when and if it ever becomes more of a problem than that single plant, I assure you, I'm going to be checking out his channel um, for refreshers on how to deal with it. <laughs> I like how she said she's like on a timeout. Well, you're in the right Ooh. place, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. How you doing? You came to the right place for sure. This is what we do, man. Trying to freaking like, it, trying to make the live streams kind of like we're all hanging out smoking joints together. Like this is a sesh, you know? I think that's trippy. I think it's weird. Interactive television blows my mind. I love it. Yeah. That's weirdly cool. why I watch um, Koala. I usually don't catch live, oh. but I sit there and get stoned. So this is the, the I didn't take a whole lot off of the last uh, um, the last plant. But it does smell really good considering it just leaves. And yes, I could I could do some RSO or I could add it all. Um, to be honest, I oh. when it comes to sun leaves, I just throw them out or feed them to my rabbit. How does my LED light like, do for a 300, a 300 watt for a small tent? If you're talking about that 300 watt cob, thumbs up of approval, man. I love that thing. I've got uh, the 300 watt cob and the 600 watt cob. I freaking I think it's the best light that Mizey makes. Next to this thing now, this is the brand new Mizey uh, Spider Farmer uh, 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 True Full Spectrum Dilly Dilly. That's freaking. This is really nice. But as far as cobs go, I love that. 
And the SP250 right here, yeah, man, I got to say, it's a good light. I like it. I mean, I'm a little bit biased. I got it for free, but I'll tell you, I'd buy another one. I might even buy another one. I'm really considering um, this next setup I got going. I might actually buy a second one of these for the other side of the tent because there's this big new light going down the center, and I kind of wouldn't mind one of those for each side to balance due to its thin nature and its nice, pure, true white coverage. Both of these, the Spider Farmer back there and the... the, the um, SP250 from Mars are both in that same white spectrum, man. They're cool. I remember you had a good setup type for like low odor and for like a ninja type. I'd say a 300 watt LED is underpowered for even a single plant. Um, that's really, really pushing it. Yes, if you use, uh, if you buy an SP250, guys, for real. Uh, use the can the code Cannabeard. You'll get three percent off. I know it's not much, man. They're a Chinese company. They don't like giving out discounts very much, but it's better than nothing. Um, also, if you guys want any gorilla gr gorilla glue, uh, I keep saying that. I'm gonna have to get that one out of my mouth. If you guys want a gorilla grow tent, again, Cannabeard grows. I'll be uh, unveiling that soon. It's just not here yet. There's been some shipping finagles. Anyway, folks, I'm going to go back to the clip in here, man. I, I got, a, uh, like, one more puff, I think, on this joint, and then it's the got, other tent. Got got a tip of get the tent first for yep. Melissa. Yep. Uh, I would recommend, you honestly, your light whoever was asking about that light, instead of that 300-watt light, buy that 300-watt Mizey Cobb. I know the light you're talking about. It's maybe, maybe 50 bucks more. Do it. It's worth the money. That... It's 150 bucks for that Mizey Cobb, and it is the tits. The tits, I tell you. There's a link below in my Amazon store. Again, not trying to just like self-promote, but it's true. It's down there. Um, I love it, man. I love it. It and helps me. Bang for the buck it is one of my favorite little lights. I have ADHD, and it's all in one spot. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it. I try to make it easy on you. I try to put everything that I use and have tested and approve of in my ship below, or at least something that's really close to what I do. Anyway. Let's get on with the clip, 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 clip. <clears throat> okay. So, um, can I see that a little bit? Oh yeah, that's in good frame. Okay, so this one here is, every time I do, this whole tent over here, guys, is a, um, this is all CBD cheese auto flowers from Crop King. Again, a newer genetic, and that's why you can see variants in it, right? But I do love this. Every time I do this, I get, um, uh, every time I do this, I there. get, there. I was showing them the rest of the tent. Anyway. Oh, I anyway. know, I just wanted to back. Nope, thank you for the input. Um, every time I do this, Every time I grow these plants, I always get one short little stubby. Last time we called him Peter Dinklage. Um, <laughs> look at oh my gosh. Look at this long leaf. Wow. It's such a weird plant. I love this plant. It's so good. But it does some weird things sometimes. And this plant is no exception. It's got these really long leaves and little, little tiny, or long stalks on these little leaves. It's very bizarre. But this is like, this is what you, you can't pheno hunt auto flowers, but this is like what pheno hunting's all about. You end up finding weird things, weird traits that different strains can produce. Some desirable, some not so desirable. We got, we got a thanks for being patient and answering all the newbie questions from Jeff. Hey man, I'm... I'm sort of a noob <laughs> myself, I so like... I think we cracked someone up with Peter Dinklage. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I, I'm crash coursing my way through a lot of this as well. You know, I just try to share my experience with everybody so that you can learn from my mistakes as well as from my successes. So, uh, right on. I'm glad you enjoy my content. I'm glad I'm helping people learn from my stuff. Yeah. Right on. Thank you. I don't know. It's hard to accept 
positive criticism sometimes. I always get a little bit fumbly and start going, oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Trigio, girls looking great started to scrub our plant sea of green. Nice. I have not done a sea of green. I want to try. Um, I'm oh, going to once I start, time. yeah, once I start cloning, that's happening. I'm going to do one. Just because I haven't, I haven't really done much clone. But Peter Dinklage, we will reap out, maybe I'll repost one. If I show that one, you can't like deny, it's just, it's funny. And it's so true. Yeah, he was a little, little stubby. <laughs> it was just a serious giant little bud came out of the ground, man. A little I had, mug. But I had, I had an energy can right beside it and it was like. Yeah, short and stocky. It was really thick. We got quite a bit of bud out of that. <laughs> It was no, no slouch, but it was just uh, short as all hell. Looks like Melissa would not grow fuller, but just two at a time and get clones and just continue to go on and yeah. on. Yeah. Perpetual is is nice. And if you're only doing the four thing, um, uh, a perpetual grow of like two and then cloning two and then running those two again is a, a good way to do it and that's a good way to keep if you have the space and the ability to do a perpetual grow like that it's a way that you can crop out every like pretty much like every two months or something like that instead of waiting like you know four or five or friggin whatever it takes because sometimes they take a while <laughs> Man, this thing's also got so many leaves. More than it looked like it did, and I just want to shred into it a oh. bunch, man. Jeff also asked, but I think we kind of almost answered, is how many plants would be good for a first time growing basically two. Yeah, two's a really good two, two space. Two. Like one of these one of these two by four tents will grow two plants fairly well. Even a photo period. You just gotta be careful with making sure you don't let them get too tall. And what is Neutron? Nutrition? I guess so. Well, apparently someone's asking how much do you pay for your Neutron? Nutrition? I don't know what, uh, can you re, re, uh, 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 address that question? Can you, can you, can you say that question differently? I don't quite understand it. I don't have a Neutron. I mean, Jimmy Neutron? Was that an old cartoon? <laughs> there we go. You can start seeing her insides now, folks. Took a little bit of took a little bit of snippity snippity snipping. But what this will do as well is it will again promote all of this upward growth. And I'm gonna leave some of these big ones on because they're not they're not hiding anybody. But this will promote a big upward push of, of nutrition and and uh, 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 hormones and stuff telling it to like push those flowers man what's that huh I think Melissa's thinking uh, I think he asked how much you pay for power oh um like not that bad honestly because they're all LEDs it's not that bad I looked into it just recently and I actually did a comparison and uh, I'm kind of on par with people that lived here before me already. And that's uh, not bad, considering I'm running a whole bunch of plants. I mean, the fans don't take that much juice. The uh, the LEDs only take as much as a couple of normal old school light bulbs each. So, I mean, it definitely costs. Don't get me wrong, it's not free to grow this fucking stuff. There is an increase on power. But it's yeah. not that bad. And another is asking, and I'm pretty, I'm sure it's nutrients, but I still could be wrong because I don't think they clarified. No. No? No. No, they did not. Does your CBD strains have a high THC level, and if so, what's the ratio? It's 8% uh, 8%. 8% eight, eight percent, eight percent. Eight percent CBD, 8% THC. I want that 1616. 16. Yeah, we've got a 1616 16 seed upstairs that we're going to be pheno hunting um soon like it, once once i've done all this and i've got some backup medicine and i'm not too worried about like every little freaking plant in my house and i can start doing my first pheno hunt ah is uh 
Anyway, there we go. She's good. Oh, good, it good was behavior. nutrients. It is nutrients. Um, I don't know. Like, it depends, right? Um, I think like this. These these guys right here were about maybe thirty bucks, but it's like not even half full, and I've gone like three or four crops, four crops already. And then these guys here are about twenty bucks a bottle, eighteen to twenty-five bucks a bottle, depending. Um, so they're not bad, and they last a long time. I mean, I don't know. Depends. Like, everything costs something, you know. Nutrients aren't free, that's for sure. But a guesstimation, nice. Yeah, it's hard to give a proper guesstimation. I'm just gonna put this down over here for a second. Oh, now, now this one right here is, uh, I don't know who named this, and if you're in chat, but this is Jane. Mm. Me, Jane. I Me, freaking want snoo snoo. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, yes for the win! <laughs> but it was just, it's like, that could be nutrients or neutron for power. <laughs> okay, now, whew, I have to, like, move oh. the camera a little bit. Hold on, let okay. me see here. So that person that asked about nutrients, spend 300 on nutrients. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't really oh, like... Skater Dad named Jane. Oh, here, yeah, this is Jane right here. Jane wants snoo snoo. Jane is a freaking big old jungle bitch, man. Look at her. <laughs> Look at this thing, man. I've been training her. She's got a crazy... You'll see her curvature. She's got a big crazy S-curve thing going. She's just so big, I couldn't freaking stop her. She's seriously like a big old Amazonian... Oh, my widow did that. Remember? She cracked like a... Like a hockey stick. I forgot yeah, about that. I, we broke that white widow. It snapped, and I had to glue it back together. <laughs> white white glue, by the way, folks. You ever crack your stock and you need to glue it back together? Wood glue. Okay. No. Kirk Gray's. What do you think of electric skylights and advanced advanced nutrients for my first row? Um, advanced nutrients. I've used some of their stuff. And uh, I've heard lots of good things about them, but I've never actually had a grow with them. Um, and what was the other one? Um, Skylights and Advanced Nutrients. Uh, electric Sky, I'm assuming. Um, they uh, look pretty bitchin'. They're a little pricey, but uh, they're pretty good. That Canuck Grow dude's freaking sponsored by them or something, so he pimps them out pretty hard. But they, uh, they look good. They look like they're good lights. I don't use them because they're a little out of my price range and I'm a poor ass. And they haven't given me any free lights yet. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. They look pretty good. If I could, like, I'd like to try one sometime. Maybe I'll buy, buy a middle-of-the-road one one day and just test it. <laughs> Darren, you need a lawnmower for that girl. I know. Freaking machete. <laughs> And Jeff, if you trim her far enough, she could be Jane, bare naked lady. <laughs> yeah. No, she ain't gonna be bare naked. She's got lots on her. Don't worry. Ugh. Okay, there we go. See some freaking internals a little bit now. Kirk says thank you. Not too sure for what, but you're very welcome. He's Probably the something one I that said. asked for this about skylight and the advanced nutrients. Ah yes, I use advanced nutrients. Um, uh, um, they're they're uh, uh, mycorrhiza powder. That's what I use from advanced nutrients. I love that stuff. Because I had a hard time finding some good stuff and. Uh, they got some really good stuff. And that's what the bunny gets for going down the rabbit hole, finding a fungal. Fungal. Yeah. Fungal, fungal, fungal. Yeah, bunny here found out about, uh, she's the one that told me all about that whole mycorrhiza thing. I had no idea about it. I'd never even heard and of it. You're like, no. I'm just like, but it's a, a symbiotic Yeah, she's trying to tell me to use it. I'm like, nah, I don't want it. I'm good. And then she's like, no, 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 no. You seriously want this stuff? And I like looked into it. Okay, okay, okay. And then, sure enough, it's like really important. Dippy dippy here. Huh? Dippy dippy here. I forgot about that one. 
I don't remember. I think I think you named one, but I'm like, I have vague remembrances of the names, and then I'm like, I think you named a plant. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know who named any of the plants. I just know what their names are. I recognize some of them. You guys got to keep track of the plants you named yourselves, because I can't keep track of who named what. Um, this little guy right here is going bye bye. You're all tangled up in there. Um, yeah, both he, of you guys gotta go too. Is, is Jeff asking is, if Jeff's saying bong is in have a bong poot or just he has a bong? I don't like bong hoots. If you're asking me to have one, I don't want one. <laughs> She's the bongy here. I don't like the damn things. I like it. Yeah, it's fine. I don't, I don't, I don't like, I don't come down on anybody that likes their bongs. I just personally, they kick my ass. And it hurt my throat. And I don't like it. I bong dabs every once in a while. I put dabs through her big fucking huge bong. That's fine. Yes. Uh, dab break and asking what's all smoking and I wish I had dabs right now. It's bong time. Yeah, if you want to go grab the dabs, honey, we can do a dab as a celebration when I'm done this freaking closet. But we can wait a little bit. We'll okay. wait a little bit. I'll send you off there in a few minutes to grab the parts. You bong all day, all night. It's like, I don't all day. I'm probably more of a bong more of the night. Joints yeah, teach their own, man. Um, I mean, like if you're a, if you're a bongy person, then right on, man. I kind of like seeing. I, I like bongs. What the difference is? I just don't do it myself anymore. We've got a lot of bongs and um a little joints. I like joints. I miss joints, but I'm picky with my papers. I'm so sweet. Yeah, we're both picky in different ways about our papers. We both hate each other's papers too. It's funny. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, yeah. Paper of any it's kind, unless it's flavored, reminds me of a cigarette. For you, yeah. flavored is what, plant matter. For me, flavored cigarette or flavored papers are what you put on shitty weed. But that's just me. I'm not slagging anybody that likes flavored papers. Just that's what I always thought. Mm. You have good weed. You shouldn't need flavored papers. Have you heard anything or heard anything about Remo nutrients or yes. two runs it cost me three hundred? Is that right, or am I getting ripped off? Uh, not a clue. Never that looked into the boring. cost of them. I have no idea on them. Um, <laughs> I've heard of Remo nutrients a lot. Never used a single What's drop a of them. What? What's a Borg? The Borg? Yes. Like Star Trek Borgs? I think so. They assimilate? They, they're saying they have a bong attached to where a left hand is. Oh, sure. Cyborg. Oh. Okay. Well, Cyborg, I, honey. Cyborg. I, you know <laughs> different nerd things. Yep, yep. I know a little like, I know more fantasy anime. stuff. No, I know anime. a little more anime nerds. Holy stuff. shit, look at Jane now. You wouldn't even recognize her, but look at this. Look at this wicked curve going in her spine there. Look at that. Like this is her head right here. But like that. <laughs> I think I think just Jeff had one of his first packed cones. I recall those, but I was already a heavy toker and I needed two of them. Okay. Oh, God, that's a heavy plant. Okay, now we're grabbing another one from the tent here. Oh, thank God, I only ever have to do this once until it's time to harvest these buggers. Okay. Yes, Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move it right about ah. there. That looks pretty good, I think. Again, we've I got can't focus four very out well. Of but... 20 of you rock, but that's because we've got 28 watching in four nights. Hey, hey, man, come on. You guys need to take a minute, go down there, and like this video. I'm going to stop this video right here. For real, you guys are gonna have to look at my face all super close up in HD and freaky. Oh my god. Go and like the video right now. Every one of you that has not done it, do it. Like the video with your thumb up, please. Come on. Come on now. I work hard for this damn spot. It's a Friday night. And someone says that they're in their summer bikini. Jane I don't Jane care what you're wearing. Bikini. Like the damn video. No, Jane. <laughs> Jane. 
Jane is in summer bikini. Yes. Yes, she is. Oh, on sucking up at rolling, I use a rolling machine just because I'm spoiled by this one who rolls all the drinks. Oh, there we go. See, this wasn't refreshing. Yeah. There's 29 likes. It, it was stuck on oh. four. I'm sorry. I blamed you guys for <laughs> things that you didn't do. I'm oh. sorry. I jumped to conclusions. I had to refresh it, and there was more people. This is Mac. 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 Because I, I guess it's like mac and cheese is, I guess, the concept. In the last, I don't know. Or Big Mac. In the last maybe? recent, we went from 25 to 31. Hey, right on. Ding. So the system does work. That's good to know, guys. <laughs> We got someone, my hubby needs to get his grow on for me. He's like, yes. Yes, yes he, does. he does. Kick him in the butt. I didn't eat you. No. I got the grow on automatically. I just got this bug and was like, what? I can grow pot? Really? All I got to do is ask my doctor? And my doctor was like, yeah, okay. Well, I paid for this doctor one. I paid for the first one. Now I got a medical doctor, or a, a, a cannabis doctor. But um, I, I did pay for my first... Uh, initial ACMPR license, as probably a few of you do, did. I hope you don't pay continuously. If you can find a good doctor, you can get them renewed for 20 bucks for the paperwork fee instead of that 400 bullshit or 300 or whatever they try to charge you at those cannabis licensing places online that hook you up with the Skype doctors. Night Skater Dad! You can, I think it's you. I think it's you. No, I think it's someone else. What's that? Where is it? Boop. They're gonna, they're gonna say hello to the outdoors. Ah. And says he'll be back for Sunday sash. Right on. Good seeing you. Thanks for coming and hanging out. And I'll see you Sunday for the Sunday sash. <laughs> We've got a new sub, Breeza. Hey, hey, right on. Welcome. Ah, Oz. Not the Wizard of Oz, the kangaroo type. Oh, Oz Australia. Oh, I don't know why that just flew over my head. <laughs> it really did, sorry. I got a good mate I play a Sea of Thieves game with is from Australia. Well, I haven't played with him in a while. We should probably go bug him one day and see if he wants to play. I've played oh, yeah. a lot. Hmm. Natural Health Services. I do not know what that is, but apparently did everything for them at no cost. Nice. Yeah, there are good companies out there that do it, uh, but most of them are trying to make a buck. I don't blame them, but they're trying to make a buck, you know? And hopefully they're not milking people too bad, but they will help you. I, I used uh, uh, license to grow.ca. They charged me up the ass, so I'm not highly recommending them, but it did work. They and did give me a license. Also, good night to Burnsy. Apparently, going to go cook and eat and see right you next on. time. Good night, man. Cheers. Thank you for hanging out. Appreciate it. Did uh, Are you rolling or something? What are you doing up there? I was rolling the outdoor and then dress up. For some of the people that just got. Oh, um, oh, okay. I was gonna say you have to, you have to take them down when they're done, I they did. Keep, or they keep looping. I figured that one out. Right on. Oh, I'm impressed. She's learning the freaking stream pad, folks. She was scared of that thing. I was asking her if she'd help me with it, and she was like, "I don't know." We got someone asking how grow, how old the grow is, and that depends which one you're asking. Um, this this garden right here is. Um, almost a month and a half, and but they're auto flowers. Had a had a compliment on your HD cam from the outdoor one, so I thought to show the other one. Ah, thank you. I forgot that you have a nice HD. Cam. Um, eventually, I know that the actual um, the main camera where I put my face on in this room isn't very hey, good. We have someone who named her, came, named two of the girls. Oh yeah, which Jenny ones? Jenny and Twisted Sister. We did. We just did those. Oh, we just did. You gotta show those ones. Okay, here, hold on. I'll show you Twisted Sister right now. She's so Jenny cute. and Twisted Sister. You got two names. You yeah. lucky bugger. Yeah. At you the got, end of the stream, it was like, oh, I got two. You got <laughs> both of them. Here they are. I don't know how well that's coming up on stream here. I gotta take a look. Is that good? You can probably go a little closer. This uh, 
This one is definitely starting. It's praying. It's very, very happy. It's got a double cola thing going on the top there. Um, I just defoliated the hell out of her. She's got a real twist. And this is the other one. It's 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 lagging a little bit. I'm not too sure what's going on with her, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe it's just a late late bloomer. And someone's got a nice time question asking help princesses, and I think that one's the last to be trimmed. Uh, yeah, princess is the next one to be trimmed, and we're almost on her. She's coming right up. She's doing real good, real good. She's next in line here. Princess, she should have been the first one, but she was kind of the back back of the frickin' bus there, so. <laughs> oh, come on, what's all stuck? It's all stuck. Come on. Let go. Rick says they look great. Yes, they're looking pretty you good. Can't, you couldn't quite see it, but there's little, like, purple coming out. Yeah, that uh, um, you can see the, the Twisted deep, Sister but... one is really starting to show a bit of purple and the inner inner parts of the flowers. So it's coming, it's just uh, being slow. But it's gonna be a nice dark purple. It should be anyway. <laughs> I hope for it. <laughs> I guess it's um, Trigio's girlfriend or wife, but she says don't mind the weight, or she says she don't mind the weight. Right on. Um, but Jeff got to go. Um, but says thanks for the info, good night, cheers. Right on, you have a, have a good one, and you're welcome. Also, in your opinion, what's a good auto flower to grow for a nice, relaxed pie? Riza? Riza? I don't know how to say it. Um, I really like um, cheese as a relaxer for myself, but um, I don't know, man. That's, that's something you're going to have to kind of... Taste test. Uh, I, I hate to suggest this, ugh, but that's one one good thing about dispensaries is you can go taste specific strains if they got them, and then find out what you like, you know, or what works best for you, and then grow that one. <laughs> that's my suggestion, because I don't I don't entirely know how to answer that question. There it is. Okay, I think I'm about done butchering this poor girl. Nope, couple more. Ooh, blackberry kush. Right there. Yeah. RB mod is having blackberry kush. I love blackberry. I like kush. Yeah, I think that's gonna be about it for this lady right here, man. I've uh, stripped her down pretty, pretty heavily here. I'm doing really light, uh, uh, low stress training. I don't know if you guys have seen these as I'm going through. There's only, only a couple of these plants got any any kind of uh, 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 curvature to them, only a couple do. Oh, okay. Now you're, uh, I keep turning the camera so you don't get to look at my butt when I'm bending over, grabbing the plants, guys. So it's for your own benefit why I'm doing that. Because ah, it's heavy. And nobody wants to see my butt straining in HD. You want to see these things okay. in HD. So this right here is... Uh, See here, is this on film? Is this oh. oh yeah. Brisa says it's illegal. We don't have dispensaries, which sucks. Oh. Kirk Grace asks if you use organic or synthetic fertilizer. Um, both. Um, not at the same time and not for the same things. Um, these are all synthetics, and uh, all of my outdoors are organics. All of my clones are running organics. All of my auto flowers, I run synthetic. Synthetic just pushes them harder, to be honest. And I bought it. It's what I bought. It's what I started with. But here's Princess right here. As you can see, she's uh, crowning. <laughs> she's uh, pretty tall and proud. Needs some serious uh, snippity snippity, though. They all did. Trigio says she's great. Indeed. <laughs> okay. Some, some rips in this, but it's still a nice leaf. Oh, it smells good. Oh man, I could, oh, I want to chew on this. Mm. 
Oh god, it smells so freaking good. Jaybird says, I would like to thank you too for the show. Makes my night in flippy dippy. Thanks for the butt blind. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're very, very welcome. Now, here, I'm gonna bust, I'm gonna pop this camera off the tripod here for a second. I wanna show you guys something. Hopefully this is gonna go in focus here. I'm gonna move the camera so I can kinda see. Or move the, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, so, look how crowded it is in here. You can see all this little stuff, right? We really wanna come in here and take a lot of this little kinda stuff out. Right here, like this. We want to get as much of that little mess out of here because it's just crowding it up. It's going to keep the plant trapped moisture. It's a good place for bugs to hang out. All that crap, right? Let's get all this out of here as much as we can. We me turn this whole plant around. Here, take a couple of big leaves here out of the way so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. And then same over here too. There's just so much in here. It's got to just, I, you should use scissors, but I only got two hands. So I'm just going to barbarically get in here and rip this out. You should probably use scissors though. It's cleaner and less stressful. I recall these girls starting to smell and, um, and Kurt Grace asked about micro flowers. About micro topping? I don't actually think I know what that is. No. I've been researching different things, so I've kind of had my eye oh. away from cannabis research for a little mm -hmm. bit. Mm -hmm. Smells good. I'm gonna put that back on the tripod though. But there we go, guys. That's what I kind of do for this bottom thing. Um, you gotta get some of that, some of that jungle out of that core. I think we'll show some of the purple when it shows up more. Yeah, I'll do some nice close-up video porn. I tried to look at it and when it's like, when it does. you can see it. Where's but... my scissors? I need my scissors back. I want to go back into scissor mode. There we go. Sometimes it's just quicker to reach in there and pull out some of those little pubic hair things in the middle with your bare hands. It's faster, more efficient. But the reality is scissors are cleaner and better, and you should use them. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> do you watch the bottom even with fabric pop? Do I which? Even with the fabric pot, do you water the bottom? No. I water the whole thing and just let it go down. Um, I got them in these big trays, and to be honest, only a couple of times have I ever watered them to a point where any water came out the bottom. I, and the times that I did, they looked droopy and overwatered. So I kind of just feed them what I fed them, and, and if they wanted more, they wanted more. Um, I, I don't know how to answer that question. It's kind of hard to tell people how much to water because everything's different. And the answer, trivial, yes, smells good. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> it smells more when you start doing what I'm doing right now. I'm coming in here and clipping all this stuff and I can smell like all the chlorophyll in the air from the... Uh, 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 it's, it's like when you cut grass, right? You can smell it. Sort of cutting grass, but it's not grass, it's weed. <laughs> it's not really weed either. Depends who you ask, I guess. Bum, 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 bum. There's that. There we go. Like that. Like that. Bam. Bam. Okay, man, this is a lot more work than it looks like sometimes. I just got hit by that bomb. Well, not just now. Yeah, you're all quiet over there yeah. for a second. That's cool. I'm okay with that. <laughs> How's chat doing? Uh, it got a little slow for a little bit. But I'm the question of, um, have you ever used plant jacks? Plant jacks? <laughs> I don't know what that is. What is that? You're going to have to explain that one to me, man. There we go. It's weird that I kind of can't wait until these guys, these girls, 
smell like a foot. <laughs> Until they stink again? It's the only foot I will ever like. I don't know many feet smell and I don't yeah, want to. it smells kind of like a gym class, but like in a good <laughs> way. Like, the... like, it's like somebody's got weed stashed at gym class. That's what it smells like. There it is. Some dank weed somewhere in somebody's bag. <laughs> you don't want to go looking for it because it stinks, but it smells good, kind of. You can tell the weed smells good. Did Andy Jacob name a plant and we can't start over? Can we start over? <laughs> what? Someone just got here and they're like, hey, start over. I just got here. That's the joy of replays. This is a video that will go posted and you can watch it all from the beginning later if you like. And Trigio goes. I actually highly America. recommend that you do. Yeah. Um, you guys you guys really want to help the channel too? You know what else you can do? You can run this. You can run these on silent in the background on your browsers just to help me get numbers. <laughs> If you really want. That's how PewDiePie did it. Is Trigio asking to use molasses on your plants? Because I don't get to the I don't you. use molasses on my plants, but there might be some molasses in some of the feeds that I use. But um, molasses is more when you're doing your own organic lineup and you're like adding all of your own nutrients and stuff, right? That's what molasses is more for. I mean, some people use it when uh, just for like... Uh, uh, dry amendments for like cocoa and stuff. I've seen people use it for this, that. I don't know. It all depends. There's no right or wrong answer, I guess. I just never used it. These ladies five feet tall. Yeah. Right there. I think she's done. Maybe like one more clip right here. Doesn't really need it, but that'll help uh, promote a lot of internal internal growth. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Now, let me put everything back. And then uh, if you want to go actually hunt right now and start grabbing the dab stuff, it's time to have some fucking fat dabs to celebrate. Yay. Yay, indeed. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, oh, God, these are heavy. Not too bad, but I do have a fucked a bit of a fucked up arm. Asks how close they are to being finished or in their flowering, <laughs> because he doesn't want us to pay for any more weed. Me neither. I know. I don't want to fucking pay for no weed. I hate fucking paying for weed. Something fearsome. That's why I started growing my own. Fucking hate. It's expensive. You fucking kidding me? Now I'm fucking weed I smoke. I don't want to pay for this shit. Um, these should be done, these, if all goes well, they'll be done at the end of October. Um, we're in September now, so we got a month and a half to go. Um, I should have, um, this one right here, uh, this is my indoor. This one, this plant right here will be done in the next, oh... Frig, honestly, like two or three weeks. <laughs> it doesn't have much left in her, I tell ya. Jesse? Yes? What PPM do you go by during the three stages of... I oh. honestly hate to admit this, but I don't measure PPM at all. I, uh, I don't. I, 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 I worry about, um, um, oh, here, let me turn this off. Sorry, guys. It was looping, probably. There we go. Ow! I stepped on the scissors. Stuart! <laughs> Little Stuart. That's how we that's how we feed a lot of the a lot of the Because someone asked where our spare ones went. Our what? Someone was asking where all the trim goes. I forgot. Oh yeah, that's where it goes. If you guys want to check me out on Instagram at Cannabeard Grows, I will be feeding. Um, a lot of this here. Let me turn that off for a second right here. This is the trim from today's Today's session. I'll be feeding a bunch of this to my rabbit Not all of it. A lot of it ends up honestly probably in my compost. I hate to admit it. It's just leaf though, right? There's nothing good in there yet But there's... Someone totally just went bunny pop, bunny pop, bunny pop. Yeah, that'd be a, that'd be a good uh, 
a good bin for the old bunny, man. Yeah, especially if you're going organic, it should be all ready to go. If you follow the, um, if you're not, if you follow the the recommendations or whatever, holy fuck, that thing is loud. I'm gonna turn that down. Hold on, I'll be right back. There we go. Anyway, if you follow the recommendations on the packaging, um, you shouldn't uh, get too, too, too far over the PPMs. In theory. Okay, did you bring dab stuff? Yeah, you did. Beautiful. Okay, so... There we go. One final yes, look here, guys, before I, uh, I'm not gonna zip them up just yet, but before I, I change cameras here, let's get one final look at the, what they look like. Let me lock this down so it doesn't move. There we go. So this one here is Jane. Uh, she's been topped quite heavily. And I semi lollipop them. I just try to trim the bottoms pretty heavily. These are auto flowers. You don't wanna lollipop them too hard. But man, I did a serious defoliation today. Maybe, maybe almost too much. Look at this one. this one. This one went into early flower. This is the big fat nug down here. Look at this. This is going to be a huge bud right out of the ground. And then over here we got uh, Dew Drop. This is the... Um, I forget what that one was. Uh, early Miss. I remember now. And then we got the two dark cream autos that are still not dark yet. This one's getting dark. You can see it's darker than her sister. Must have been getting a good tan. And has a pretty wicked dual uh, 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 cola action thing going on here. Want to drink? Right there. This is the dual. Um, in just a second, honey. I, let me finish this. You have a, you'd have that one if you want. And uh, I'm going to show you the clones, even though they're not very happy right now. Um, but... They're nice and stunted and short the way I want them. They were, uh, I let them get a little dried out and they're in cups. They can only go so far, right? Um, I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these damn clones. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. I'm probably gonna pick one or two out of each row and grow them soon. We'll see. Does the CO2 make a difference? I believe it does. I really do. do. It, uh, it spouts. Um, it promotes like massive, <laughs> sort of like, like oh, I, I don't know. I don't know the freaking math on that. Don't ask me questions like that. Come on. <laughs> Stu has fans. Nice. No, I think it's. I think they're good. I just don't know. Um, I don't know the math on. It. I don't know the science, man. But I do think they are good. Everybody wouldn't be ranting and raving about them, and companies wouldn't sell them if they were total garbage. <laughs> And if they were total garbage, people wouldn't buy them, and people would say that they're total garbage, and people do not. What are you smoking? We are smoking some... No, I'm asking them. Oh, what are you guys all smoking? <coughs> oh, okay. <coughs> Here, I'm going to show you the... I'm going to show you... Please, so. <laughs> no, what's that? Someone just like my... And then laugh at our basil. At our basil? <laughs> hey, basils are important, man. <coughs> I, I cook a lot with basil. And they don't work. And, uh, yeah, they're good stuff here. Okay, let me, uh, oh, speaking of which, I forgot a basil right there. Look at that. That's that really good one. I'll, uh, I'll put that back up after. Let me put this damn nose guard, oh, love, see if I, this nose guard will go I back have, onto my glasses because it hurts I want to try it. a cake. Okay, try here we go. Strain. Cake strain. Yeah, Someone man. Someone says blue cake and on sour diesel shatter. Nice. Sour diesel, uh, uh, I got this uh, uh, sour girl from early, or from early, bleh. sour girl from Crop King Seeds is a sour diesel and early miss combo. Wow, that thing was something fearsome, yummy. I think it's a three gallon Very tasty. Or, the, uh, or what kind of gallon for for autoflowers. Also, um, lemon. 
Mm. Honestly, between three and five gallons is plenty for most auto flowers. I've got seven gallon pots in this tent and I find them too big. I just had them and I thought I'd give them a try and they're too big. That, I would go back to five gallon or even three gallon. That's what I say. I want another dab after that was like hot. Small, but it was hot. Hopefully Skittles is the name of the strain and you're not actually smoking Skittles. No. Because <laughs> that's got to be bad for you, man. All that all that candy coating. I can't be good on my lungs. Where do I put that? Right there. Oh, and Luke says he has a nice basil plant. Yeah, dude. Basil's a good companion plant. A lot of bugs don't love basil. It's kind of a strong scent. It's not really a fan. And uh, I use it in cooking. Why not? It's I a good companion they, plant. I think the basil oregano would have worked, but the oregano needed a lot more shade. It was a bit more meaty. Um, oh, someone says uh, three gallon uh, works best, really. And that was what our white widow was in. <coughs> okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, when, when I use five gallons... <laughs> I use five gallons that have the same footprint as a, a, a three gallon. So it's basically just a tall three gallon. <laughs> That's the ones I've been using when it comes to five gallons. And honestly, the three gallons were just as good. So I have to almost agree with that and say, you know, it's up to it's you. Between three and water. five is <coughs> plenty, though. Is it less water or more water? <coughs> um, usually more water the bigger the plant is, though, for sure. I mean, like the pot, but we saw it a big plant. Yeah. But the oh, these seven the gallons, gallons are freaking drinking first. the water, man. They're taking they're taking almost almost a full gallon each right now, uh, every like two days. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, man. It's also a, like I said, it's a good companion plant. Not a lot of bugs like it. It's a good de minor deterrent. And it's what I call a companion plant. And. I uh, I use, yeah. it in my, I use it in my egg sandwiches, yeah. and he uses it in pasta. Um, <coughs> and, uh, yeah, it's good stuff. Woo -woo. Ooh, cannabis cultivation. <coughs> Is happy to see it stream off. Hey, welcome. How you doing? I'm actually just kind of finishing up. I don't even know how long we've been at this for. Holy shit. Is it really 7.48? That means I've been doing this for two hours almost? Holy crap. We don't um, go Yes, I do actually. I do. Um, it's outdoor, indoor. It's, 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 it, I was starting outdoor and I wasn't getting enough sun in my backyard. So I put them into, um, uh, uh, I put it into uh, a garden shed with some of my spare lights. Here, I can even show you. Um, because I can't, uh, I don't have a direct uh, set of, um, uh, 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 I don't have cameras in there just yet. I just took this video this morning, though. So this is very recent. I can do this. I can show you guys updates like this from the gardens that I can't reach with the cameras for now. Um, although, if you want to help, go down there below. I got a Patreon. You guys can help support the channel. That's how I buy cameras and stuff. What's that, honey? What did I miss? Yeah, I think those close up. I think this is a good way to do it, to be honest. I think grabbing a little short video and showing you guys an uh, update on the outdoor stuff that I can't reach with the in the grow room here is a good is a decent way to do it. You only get a certain quality on live if I remember correctly and your phone or tripod or whatever is awesome. This sucks. <coughs> the tripod is good. This is the good camera right now guys. This is my really good camera. I've got one good camera. This is why I need Patreons man. I got a couple of you and I'm super appreciative of you and that's why I'm able to buy things. Um, I need more cameras. This one sucks. I know that. I'm working on it. <laughs> How'd you make out with UPS and the gorilla? Um, UPS are scammers. They have hidden fees. And uh, fuck UPS. But uh, the gorilla family has taken care of the problem. They're, I don't know if they're going to yell at them or just pay it. 
I don't know. But they said, don't worry about it. We got it. We'll get back to you. Should be there soon. They just said they're taking care of it. That's all I know. Yep, I think the little video clips is a decent way to show, because like I said, I've got two gardens I can't reach right now, as well as I'm about to, when the gorilla tent gets here, start a whole nother garden, as well as a whole new series. I'm going to start a brand new series on probably Tuesdays. So every Tuesday is going to be Gorilla Grow Tent Tuesdays, something like that. Gorilla Grow Tuesdays. Something stupid like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out. <coughs> It'll be probably Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And then any live streams I run a run from my phone or something, um, just randomly, whenever I feel like it. That's going to be my plan for moving forward. So don't forget to like this video. And subscribe and all that crap. Man, I'm baked. <sighs> oh man. It's like it felt like that felt taxing to say that again, for Christ's sakes. Ugh. <laughs> like trying to convince his wife to get more tents. Nice. Yeah. I she can't uh, I don't need to convince her. She loves more tents. She's like, bring them on. <laughs> Fill the whole basement with tents. Which I'm kind of trying to do. Anyway, folks, I think I'm kind of going to wrap it up there. Um, I'm nice and baked. We've yeah. done all of the defoliation for the day. Snip, snip, snip. Happy Friday the 13th. It's probably actually Saturday the 14th for a few years now. Um, but um, don't forget, Saturday at noon, Pacific Standard Time, the Sunday session, a.k.a. Cannabis Appreciation, on the channel here and on um, Twitch. I'll be streaming live from Twitch and YouTube. The ladies are looking great. They're looking mighty great. Anyway, folks, thank you very much. Appreciate you. Love you. And I'll see you really soon. I want to go eat food. Yeah, I'm hungry. We got to go eat dinner. I didn't realize this was a two hour stream. Good stream. <sighs> I'm freaking hungry. Got you. Uh, good stuff. Love your stuff. Peace. Uh, Cheers. And